the outer woods of a distant land, surrounded by purple rivers, lie Kappa, a humanoid turtle which hold dominance over the waters. In the middle of the ocean lies the land of Zation. There lived Jack, who will later be known as Blind Eyes Jack. Unaffected by the concern or need for lake-faring travel due to self-replenishing crops, the land of Zation flourished. During his childhood, while playing way outside of his home, his family is slain by a hooded archer, though his bow pulsated a red flesh like mass while drawing in blood from its victims. Now an orphan, he wandered the slums of Zation. Until, one moonless night, he was picked up by an old man who was proficient in history, arcane, the demon language, and the practice of bowmanship. Under the old man's tutelage, Jack became proficient in these areas as well, but could never grasp the demon language. In his adult years, Jack joins the city of Zation's Assassination Corps in hopes of finding the person who killed his family. He earned the name Blind Eyes Jack because his eyes resembled a foggy haze, as if he saw without seeing. Finally, one of his missions ends with him encountering the hooded archer who abruptly ended his family's lives, the red pulsating bow in full display amongst his arsenal. Jack, whose rage filled his mind with the urge to kill, notches his arrow. Pulling it back, he sends it flying at his target. Though as he does, he thinks he sees the target smiling. The arrow then plunges into the intended target without resistance. Running over to the body, he pulls back the hood to find his mentor and father figure dying from the wound his arrow had created. The old man, now at death's door, manages to explain that he himself was once part of the assassination corps, and one of his targets was Jack's family. He tells Jack that in his study is a spell that enchants a boat, which disguises it from the kappa guarding the purple ocean. His final wish being that he finds something worth protecting instead of killing, like he found in Jack. Jack, whose life revolved around finding the archer who slaughtered his family and discovering it was his beloved master and father figure, feels lost, and he collapses. Waking up on the boat floating across the purple ocean, he wonders how he got there. Looking at his hand, he finds it gripping his master's bow. He begins to hear his master speaking. I won't leave you till this bow is satisfied. If you require my skills I have collected over the years, Grasp the bow and speak the phrase, Elevated Cap. Jack, now drifting across the purple ocean, hopes to discover something worth protecting, while avoiding the possibility of being hunted down by the Zation Assassination Corps for abandoning their vision. With the ghost of his master now haunting his very existence, he blacks out. Greetings. Destiny has led you here. Welcome to the edge of the world, Trixian. Now follow the path of the light. Ugh. Where am I? I remember hearing the voice of my master, then nothing. And that woman, who was she? And what is this destiny of mine they speak of? Does she know me? I guess it doesn't matter. 
I'll just do what she says. Whoa. Guess I don't have to watch my step. This bridge is solid light. Hmm. Very well. The forces of chaos are on the move again. The Arcs once saved the world from the demons. We need them again. Try opening the Tome of Prophecy. It will show you the path of your destiny. Hmm. Very well. The light of the world must not fall to chaos. Scrubs, we're here. How did I end up on this boat? I guess that's the island I need to be. Next stop, Trua. I hear a famous priest is arriving today. Oh, I've heard of him too. Seems like everybody's talking about this priest. I guess I should speak to him if I want to know what I need to do next. I have nothing to go on right now. Coming here to search for something. I wonder what he just passed by. Where is he? Is that really him? He looks far too young. Does he really have healing powers? He looks. Rather frail. Daddy, who's that? A very famous priest. Welcome to Pride Home, Holy One. Thank you so much for this warm welcome. Father, Varu and the rest of the village eagerly await your arrival at the cathedral. Oh? In that case, I best not keep Father Varut waiting. Now! No. Die! Oh no. If I need information, I gotta keep this priest alive. Ugh. Thank you for saving me. Are you headed to Prideholm? So, what business do you have in Prideholm? I need to get information on the Ark. Oh. You're searching for the Ark? You know, most people believe the Ark is a myth. Truth be told, I'm also looking for the Ark. I hear there is a stone tablet in this village that contains secrets about the Ark. What a coincidence. Perhaps we could travel together and see... Oh, that's just perfect. Come on, priest, push that horse.
Don't worry, priest. I got you. Give me your hand. Crowd. Seems like all the townsfolk are gathered in the church. Guess I'll start my search there. Feel the warmth of the light. And be healed. have healed oh it's you again you're here father Verut. this adventurer saved my life oh so that was you i sense goodness in them i'm afraid you don't know what you're talking about it was just circumstance that led me to protect oh, them is that so then we have much to discuss Is this the tablet? Indeed. This tablet contains all we know of the Ark passed down for generations. In theory, anyway. As you can see, part of it is missing. Such a large portion. I wonder what happened to it. The tablet was already like this when it arrived at the cathedral. I think it went missing during the transport. Our attempts to recover it have failed. No one really knows how the portion of the stone tablet disappeared. Well, it looks like I'm not gonna get any information sitting around here. I guess I'll go ask people outside. Excuse me, are you a bounty hunter? I need someone to enact a justice on a certain group that has wronged me for far too long. And why should I care? Well, there is much wealth to be had. If you would just clear out just a couple grave robbers. I have no need for this wealth you speak of, so I'll pass. Well, then why the long bow and armor to match? No reason. Do you know anything about the missing piece to the Ark? The Ark? Come with me. We can walk and talk. Well... If that's what you are looking for, it seems fortune smiles upon me at last. The woods just outside Prideholm hold the cemetery of the ancients. My ancestors are buried there, and their graves are being uprooted and desecrated. That very same burial ground may have something to do with the Ark and its history. Maybe you will find something there, but there happens to be a few grave robbers that had taken refuge. They will get in your way, surely, but taking them out would bring peace to my ancestors once again. Very well. If bringing peace to your ancestors will bring me closer to the Ark, then I guess I have no choice. These grave robbers you speak of, are they organized? I have no idea, but if they are measly grave robbers, then surely they are too low for any organization. I'm sure if you take out a couple, then the rest are sure to run away. So these grave robbers run free in the woods. Do the guards of this city not fear being attacked by them? Well, it seems they are far enough from the town for the guards to not pay heed. Plus, grave robbers would never come into a town. They much prefer to be in the shade. That has left me to track down any cell swords or any one of the like to put an end to them. Oh, are you going to get them? Is that a yes? Okay, thank you. Attention. This is a message from the narrator. Stop fumbling in the background while I'm speaking. Sorry. Attention, listeners of this video. This means you have come to the end of episode one. I would just like to say a few words. The cat, who we call Pretzel in this household, is asleep on my leg. I am very happy with this outcome of this video. If you made it this far, hit the like button, hit subscribe. He just hit 400 subscribers not that long ago. Let's get it to 600, maybe a thousand. Wow, that would be really nice. 